Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. Welcome to Lots of Pots. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite plants in my collection because she was such a trial and she was a scary plant for me. It's the Alocasia stingray and I just want to share with you her beauty and um, share with you some of the things that I have learned about her. How about that? Because I'm not an expert as much as I want to share with you some of the things I've learned about her. Okay, here she is. Oh, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> I just love her so much. Look at the size of this leaf. Ooh, she is so beautiful. She is like taking over everything. And literally, she is taking over everything. When I repotted her, when um, I, rep I repotted her and I repotted my poly, and it was before I knew about corms. And when I repotted them both I guess some of one of the corms from this plant went in with my poly and she just started growing inside of my poly I looked when it was a baby I said well that doesn't look right <laughs> but it turns out that it was just one of the corms that had germinated inside of the poly tent and I ended up putting it into this one so this is the mama plant the baby plant the everything plant and she is doing so well I will tell you I had lots of trouble with her in the beginning because I really didn't understand everyone told me oh she's gonna go dormant and it is December right now for us um, she's still popping out lots of new growth I don't I see one yellow leaf down here all the way down here but I just repotted her into this bigger pot so that could be it but um and I've been trying to keep all of my plants in clear pots simply because I need to be able to see when they're they're thirsty. But anyway, um, I I thought she was going to go dormant, but she did not go dormant as much as she was growing and growing and growing. But when she showed signs of struggle, I kind of just felt like, okay, well, there's really no need to like get stressed out over it because she's going to go dormant. And I don't know it's just she didn't go dormant and my bedroom is very very she stays in my bedroom and my bedroom is extremely warm so obviously she thinks it's still summertime but look at this look how pretty look how pretty she is and I think the oldest leaf which is all the way up here it looks like it's showing signs of maybe may no okay let me leave you alone she has some little yellowing spots. I thought maybe she was about to, you know, call it quits. Look at her. That's a beautiful plant. Look at her. Look at the tail. I can't leave the tail out. Look how pretty. I just love her. And I check her all the time. I know I keep um, zoning out and looking at her, but um, I'm just checking for anything that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Originally, she was in a little... A little pot about this big I guess it's about a four inch pot and I purchased her from Big Y for six dollars and ninety nine cents and this is where she is now she's died back at one point to one leaf because there was something living on her and I put her outside in the summertime she did not get all of this growth outside she got all of this growth when I brought her back inside but when I saw something living, I don't know what it was. All I know is I put her outside. I said, oh, no, 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 no. Because I know that you're prone to have different problems. And got rid of all of the anything living on her and brought her back in. And she just had, when I brought her back in, she had three really tall um, shoots like this. But only one of them survived when it came in. It died back to this this one leaf right here. And then all of the rest of this just shot out. And I, when I repotted her, I lost three leaves. And but she's still doing really well. You can look inside, and you will see that there's there are tons of babies in there. So and I did take some of the corms, corms, and I gave um, one to my mother-in-law. I actually grew it into a little plant. I gave one to my mother-in-law and I gave one to someone else. I can't remember who it was, but um, I guess my new thing right now is just um, growing my corms into into baby plants. Oh, look how pretty. Can you guys please tell me that you love her? Her name is Allie. <laughs> Allie Alocasia Stingray. Oh, she is so beautiful. She makes me happy. 
This is a plant that definitely makes me happy because I never thought I'd be able to grow this plant, but I did and I'm so excited about it. So tell me if you have this plant, please share with me some details and I will talk to you again, guys. How about this? Tomorrow I will highlight another one of my faves, okay? Bye!